Hey guys, Tech for Life here, and this is going to be a two-part video. And the first part is going to be what I'm going to show you here, which is a basic overview of what you need to do to get your Screenium captured videos converted over into iMovie, and then from iMovie to YouTube. So that's going to be the first part, and then the second part is I'm going to do the exact same process over again. And I'm not going to show you that, but I'm going to show you my final product of um, the whole movie. And I'm going to take all of these screenshots because, of course, you can't use I can't show you the Screenium um, menus and all that while I'm using it. So I'm going to go ahead and take all these screenshots and import that into iMovie. And then um, I'm going to take one of the videos I just shot like 20 minutes ago. I'm going to take that and also import that into iMovie. And then I'm going to um, create the movie myself. And then um, that will be up probably in about two days. Because I'm going to have to edit a couple videos. I just shot a lot now. But um, let's go ahead on with the video. So what you want to do <clears throat> is first click on Screenium. And you're going to get um, this Screenium menu as always. And you're going to go to Media Library. And then this is the video I just shot. Um, it's a Mac app review um, called App Cleaner. Go ahead and check out that video. It uh, should be on my channel in about an hour or so. So right after this video, I'm going to go upload the App Cleaner video. So when you get here, you're going to go ahead and click this export button down here. You make sure to highlight this video and you're going to click export. Then, when you do that, you're going to have a movie settings um, pop-up screen that you're going to get. And the very first thing you want to do is go down to size. And then the size settings should uh, pop up, and you're going to get dimensions. And you're going to click on the dimensions drop-down menu. And you want to make sure you put it in 720 HD because that's the highest HD. HD quality that YouTube takes right now. Um, 1080p HD would be for big screen TVs, like if you like big screen TVs you have in your house or something like that. So you want to make sure to do 720 because that's the most YouTube takes. So I'm gonna keep this out and click all these other ones out. So don't mess me up. Okay. So then after that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the settings tab over here in the the very first menu box that popped up after we clicked on export and you are going to go to compression type and you're going to go to apple intermediate code then from there you're going to go ahead and type not type sorry you're going to go into compressor and you're also going to click on HDV 720p which, like I said, um, is the highest quality YouTube can take. Um, the 1080i and 1080p, I'm not sure what the i stands for, but the p is definitely for TVs. So, you want to make sure you have all this clicked on before you export. And then, your final step is go back to this movie, the menu screen, and go ahead and click OK, and it'll start to convert right in here. I'm back for the second part of this one video. Um, we've already gone over all the screenshots and all the points I need to make up until the point of actually taking the exported movie from Screenium into iMovie. So what you basically need to do is go to iMovie, which I already have minimized on my dock here and what you want to do is make a new event but first you want to make a new project so go to file new project and like always it's gonna pop up with a themes menu and you're gonna go ahead and click um, no theme so this is what it's gonna look like and stuff so to create a new event you're just gonna go file new event and it's gonna come up as one of these and all you gotta do is name it so this is the one we want and there's no clips or anything in here yet. And what you're going to do is go to your desktop or wherever 
your Screenium movie was saved to, you're going to go ahead and click and drag into that event. And it's going to go ahead and copy over, which should take less than 10 seconds. It really just depends on the file size and, um, you know, to easier understand, it's more of the length. So, um, you know, the longer the movie, the more memory you, you have taken up and um, the longer it takes to export. So it should be almost done by now. And basically from here, it's just, you go into regular editing. So, oh, now it has to do thumbnails. <laughs> Alright, there it is. So this is the whole movie that I just shot right here, and what you want to do is, uh, just for basic stuff, um, you want to go to Command A, which is, selects all of your whole project, and then you're ready to go ahead and edit, add titles, add credits, take out whatever you don't want, and, um, for the last and final video in this little two-part series, um, What's basically going to happen is, I already have this part exported. This is the first half of the video. Because I couldn't um, use Screenium, I used all these um, screenshots over here. So, um, I've already exported the first part because it's, just, it's the, uh, the screenshots. And the second part is going to be this right here. It's going to be the um, exporting into iMovie and showing of um, the making of, you know the new event, and all that. So, this is the second part of um, this one whole video, and, you know, you basically do the exact same thing. Um, you go into Screenium, and uh, you go into Capture, Stop Capture, then you um, export it like we did over here, onto your desktop, and from your desktop, you go ahead and say this is the new movie over here. You're going to go ahead and drop it into Export, or Screenium, that's what I named my um, new event. And then you're just, I'm just going to add titles and maybe a little transitions here and there and some music and then do the title. So um, I just learned this today and, um, you know, it's going to help me so much more and it's going to make my videos look so much more professional and not just me throwing some raw video up on YouTube. So thank you guys so much for watching and go ahead and subscribe.